Oh, 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 oh shit. What's up, fluffers? Don't mind me, but uh, I was trying to decide to wear a shirt or not, but fluff it. I don't want to wear a shirt right now. I'm too lazy. And if you're wondering what happened here, my glasses broke. Stop looking at it. So straight. Forgot. Can't talk too loud. Because right now the whole family is asleep. And I thought I'd make a video right now. So let's talk about something. So I want to talk to you about right now is nightmares. Like how often do you guys have nightmares? I've had a nightmare today during the day and it was pretty weird. Like I'm gonna try my best to explain. So this is what happened. It started off with me putting a tray with food, like doesn't matter what food, and you, I had put it under my bed, and for some reason, I guess I heard it in my dream from this sidekick chick, whatever, that if you want to be a better person, you put food under your bed, and a demon will come out and make you have better eyesight, hearing, and strong power. What the hell is that noise? That's... The hell? Excuse. Cleopatra. She's fat. <laughs> but she's so adorable. But uh, like I said... What was I saying? Oh yeah. Put food on the... So your bed and a demon will come out and make you a better person but you have to cover yourself with the blanket or sh uh, bed sheet uh, it was scary in my dream I, I I just heard like footsteps and boom, boom, really nasty screeching noise yelling noise and then I don't remember seeing any of the demons face I just remember then pulling the sheet off or blanket off like, whoosh, and feeling like a needle getting stabbed through my arms, legs, and eye. And then the most painful part was my chest. They always left that towards the end. Like, and then for some reason, I was doing it for a couple months. And the last time I had put food under my bed, uh, I finally saw a demon's face, which looked like one of those pharaoh, what do you call it? The... Some dog thing from Egyptian, back from Egyptian culture, whatever. And, um, but it wasn't, it had like a messed up eyeball, like one bigger than the other, and it was snarling and drooling. And I saw his hands, they look like my hands, but then not the nail, but the finger just <laughs> growl and sharp. And I saw him putting it in my arm, and, like, ah! And then the most painful part was my chest. Like, <laughs> and I go, oh. it was a normal thing for me, I guess, in the dream. And then it, went, it changed form into like a chihuahua, like my chew, my sister's chihuahua, Sophia. And the weird thing was it was missing its lips. Like, I only saw its teeth. And it was weird. And my family saw it and they just thought it was like a normal dog, but I don't know why they couldn't see that it was missing the lips. So freaky, like what the fuck? And I noticed it was it had one of my old dog that had died. Uh, his collar and his mouth kept wanting, kept like chewing on it, which was my my dog that had died was Chori. The hell are you doing? That's so gross. So yeah, he, like I was saying, I uh, had my dead dog's collar in his mouth chewing with it, and then it ended with the dog in my mom's closet with my little sister, and I kept my eye on them trying to make sure that 
the dog was gonna take her with him to hell or something. I don't know. And then I woke up. Weird. Freaky. Tell me about your nightmares and uh, come on, let me follow me on Twitter and Instagram, which will be in the description below. And thank you for watching, guys. Love you all. Later. Bye.